We're going to look at some examples of youth sports streaming, and then we're going to announce the next 10 beta participants for Sideline HD's streaming service today on My Favorite Things. So before we get to those next 10 beta participants, I want you to know that I have looked through many streams that users have submitted so that we might consider adding them to the Sideline HD streaming service. I am so grateful for the opportunity to look through these and see what other folks are doing uh, in other sports as well as in, the, there's even an adult team that we're gonna, we're gonna look at today. Um, so for us to get to look at each of these streams, I've pulled several of them up on YouTube. Now, you know that I'm giving away 10, I'm allocating 10 new users to be a part of the beta testing in Sideline HD, but I'm going to show a few. Not all of the, of, of the submissions will be shown today, but I am going to show a few so that you can kind of see what you might be able to, to accomplish through uh, streaming your team's live sporting events. So I'm going to switch over to my iPad here. Now, what we have here, and I'll, I'll let these run. I, I may have to adjust the volume a little bit. I don't know whether that's up or down, so let me make sure it's not going to be obtrusive. You can see a, a good level shot here of a, of a fast pitch softball. It's a 12 and under group that's playing on this field in particular. Good behind the umpire shot. You can see all that's happening on the infield here. Uh, it, it's an evening shot, but the, the camera that they are using is, uh, is handling those lights just fine. Uh, it, the folks who are at home are going to be able to see this and enjoy it. It is something that, that, uh, that is worth looking at, and the people who don't get to make it to the game will be so appreciative of getting to watch their littles get to play uh, on this particular event. Now, if I go over to the next one, we're going to see another stream that's very similar, except this one is an indoor game. Who knew? Apparently a lot of you did. We had some submissions for indoor games, and, and this was one of them. looks like an indoor soccer facility where they're letting youth baseball, this is a 10 and under group, that's getting to play in an indoor facility. This one said that their outdoor season will start next month, but for now, they're, they're having to be indoors, so uh, I'm just thankful that there are groups that get to share their facilities like that and can make use of letting some littles have some baseball play in time. Uh, this is another stream where you see pretty much what's happening on the, on the infield, and it's a good behind the umpire, behind the catcher view of what's going on there. As I work on through these examples, we're going to move into a, uh, an evening softball game. Uh, this looks like a, a 15 and under group for softball. I'm going to let this one play just a little bit so you can see that uh, it's, it's a good clear shot. We've got, uh, we've got both coaches on, on both first and third base in the view. We've got things happening on the infield here. And, and you can see that, uh, that once again, nice level shot. Uh, your outfield fence runs directly across the uh the the shot that is there so um it's it's not distorted in that way it's 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 a good looking shot as as this batter works the count here and uh and and stays alive with that foul ball let me pause that one we'll look at the next one i told you there was a an adult uh, submission in this didn't i this is from Denmark. This is an adult fast pitch softball league. Did not know that existed, but it's a whole thing over there. And so what they have is adult team. I believe this is an all men's team, and it is fast pitch. Uh, what they have here is is uh, another good straight shot there. You can see a little bit of ghosting in that one, so their their connection speed may have been a little bit off. Uh, sometimes you get trouble with that. Check this old boy, bring it out. I'm telling you. Um, turns a nice little double play here. But fast pitch, adult, men's softball. 
that's a, another one of those uh, arenas, another one of those areas that that streaming sporting events is going to be something that uh, folks get to enjoy back home when they when they watch or if they've got relatives in other parts of the country or even other parts of the world. Moving on along to more submissions, I want to show the uh, a game in front of us. It's the Knights versus the Naturals. We've got some nine and under teams playing on this field, and and this particular streamer has added some other elements. Looks like they have the Vimeo producer subscription plan running through a Mevo camera. They've got their over the shoulder where they've got the Knights and Naturals team names up there on top. They'll update those scores as scores happen. You've got your your base runner on third base, as is evidenced by the bug that's on the top right-hand side of the screen. And you've got number four at bat, as you can see in that lower third. Um, he makes for a pretty small strike zone, so this pitcher may have a hard time finding such a, a strike zone here. But, man, what a great view for folks who couldn't be at the game. Uh, this is a wonderful example of youth sports streaming and, and, and how engaged you can be in the game even if you're not there. The final submission that I want to show here is, go ahead and get this one started, is another 15 and under softball. Now, this is, uh, is action-packed, the, the little clip that I have pulled up. You're seeing that uh, that one stretch her uh, her single into a double on the throw, and uh, and 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 then you're going to see this next batter come up. Now pay attention. Isabella Venegas is the batter that's up right there. Uh, I believe that's her grade point average that is being listed within her player information. She has a 3.83. It's fantastic. And then the young lady that comes up to bat after her, her grade point average is also included. Uh, what an incredible way to to promote, to celebrate these young ladies who are, who are uh, academic athletes. I, I think that's fantastic. Here's a 427 coming up. If that is, in fact, a grade point average, and I, I've reached out and asked. I've not gotten an answer yet as to whether that is, but it, uh, it looks like maybe that's really what that is. Um, thank you for celebrating both academics and athletics in, in this stream. You have the over-the-shoulder there with the two team names, and you have the player information coming up, and they've added the, the headshots. So as each of your batters comes up, uh, at, at least for your team, you get to show who it is there that's at bat, and the folks at home get to engage that much deeper with what's happening at that game. I'm so, so impressed by some of these submissions that we had who, who are wanting to take their youth sports stream to the next level. It is, uh, it is encouraging to know that there are parents, there are community members who are so engaged in young people's lives. Uh, there, it, there's a great value in making connections with kids as adults who, who can speak wisdom into the life of students. It's, there's such a great value in making connections with them. Uh, it's one of the things that's, that uh, sociologists tell us make for successful adults. Non-relative adult relationships make for successful adults. When you have uh, coaches and Sunday school teachers and those kinds of things that invest in kids' lives. So I'm going to pull up one more, uh, one more avenue to look at before we announce those, those 10 new beta participants for Sideline HD. And the thing that I want to pull up is one of the benefits to being in that beta testing program. Now, uh, again, this is on my iPad. I'm pulling that up. So it's a, a little bit uh, less of a view than if I had downloaded this. But uh, from the I iPad screen, you can see this is the team page. Now, uh, pulling that down, you can see that I have some choices across top. This is the team page for the team I stream for. And there's a, a, a home, there's a roster, there's scoring, and there's streaming. You've got some settings that go along the, the top there. You can see that the team page URL for my team page is sidelinehd.com slash Elkhart Elks. Uh, and then there's a, a the the team profile is editable, and you've got some team settings. Not everything that they're going to have in the sideline HD package is yet ready. 
for example, they don't do headshots just yet, that's probably a server issue where they don't want things so crowded in, in what we're sending to Sideline HD. Uh, all the pictures that would take for all the teams that are in, involved right now would take up a lot of space. I get that. So we don't have that yet. But what we do have is um, each of our players highlights. So if I were to go into, say, Luke Johnson's highlights, and I were to scroll down to the previous game where, let's see, he gets a single here in the first inning of the last game that we played. And you can see what you're going to be looking at for those participants who are coming onto the Sideline HD beta participation program. Luke shoots this one into right field. You can see the change in the view as, uh, as the play happens in different parts of the infield. And you can see all the pieces. Let me adjust this camera just a little bit. And you can see the pieces of information that are going to be shared with the folks who are at home. Let me pull up another one of his highlights. Here's a single in the fifth inning. These highlights are cut, by the way, and sent to whoever is in their whoever is in their their roster list. It is sent to them as soon as the at bat is over. My parents, who had those coming to them this past game for the game that you're looking at there, they were so excited to get the the in game updates for their kids at bats. It's a great feature that Sideline HD has, and so uh, as you fill out your roster, be sure you get your parents' cell phone numbers so that they can be sent these updates as their kids come through an at-bat. So we'll watch this at-bat for uh, Luke. You can see that Pocket Radar is reporting the, uh, the previous pitch. It'll report this one as well. Luke takes this one and, and sends it into left field. It's 76 mile an hour into and 79 mile an hour out of that pitch. Another single for Luke in that game. So you can see across the top, we're in the bottom of the fifth. It's not a great game for the Elks. Franklin's leading eight to one. You can see who the lineup is and where we are in the lineup. So number five is up. That's going to be Jonathan Meyer. And after him, we've got 17 and four. You can see who's at bat and who's on base. You can see who's pitching. Of course, the pocket radar stuff that gives you there, as well as the ball strikes and outs, pitch count. I noticed a post this morning said that not only are they going to have pitch count in this space, but they've now added game time, how deep into the game they are, time elapsed, and those two things will cycle through. Bottom right-hand corner of the page, you have the three logos that come up. Sideline HD puts their logo up there. iScore, which is the, the app that you use on another device to score the game. It's where this information comes from. Shows up here on a rotation. And then whatever art you upload... You may have seen the Elkhart baseball logo that came up a, a few seconds ago as Luke was at bat. Also shows up here. And so those three logos rotate around. You see what game time and game date. And then the batter who is at bat currently the name, not just the number. They're at the bottom left. So you can see from where the submissions were to where they're headed now. What, they, what you can see that... What you can see that these folks uh, will be getting to enjoy starting today. We're going to post those folks on the screen here in just a moment, those uh, submission winners, uh, the next 10 who will be allocated for, uh, for Sideline HD testing. We're going to get those up on the screen here in just a second so that they can be congratulated. Uh, and, and then we will uh, we'll, we'll show them to you. If I can get that pulled up here right quick. Those next 10 who will be uh, testing the Sideline HD beta program um, will be enjoying uh, quite a bit more data for their, for their stream. The, the way that works is you set up your RTMP destination with Sideline HD. So when you go into stream, whether it's through your GoPro or your Mevo or any other RTMP camera, you're going to be streaming to Sideline HD. And then Sideline HD simply sends it on to your destination. Facebook or YouTube at this point. And so once that happens, they're overlaying all that information we just looked at 
And they're, they're giving that to the parents who are watching from home. Now, the next 10 who will be enjoying this, uh, this service on this page. So based on your submission at the, uh, at the YouTube video that, that we announced the possibility of, we, we announced the desire for your submissions to be sent in, as you submitted them, they are Brian Freeze of the KC Select 15 and under, the New, York, the New Orleans Naturals 9 and under team, Mark Leon, J.T. Turkelson, Nick Brown, Mark McCrary, Chris Lippert, Tenacity Fast Pitch, WC Sports, and F.C. Brashear Helms. Congratulations. We're glad that you're going to be coming on board. You're going to be doing some testing. You're going to be giving some feedback. And the folks that you stream to are going to be getting the results of what you have been, you will be receiving here. What I need for you to do, those of you who have won, and I'll try to get this into the information of this video as best I can, but what I need for you to do is to provide an email address so that we can email those invites out. I do know or have learned that as we try to get URLs or even email addresses into comments in a YouTube video, YouTube does not really like that. They're, they're set up to protect against spam. They're set up to protect against, against things that we don't want in those comments. And so uh, as you were trying to comment your stream, a lot of them were not showing up and I had to go in and, and, and find you based on the comment that you made that didn't include a link, that didn't include uh, a URL. So what I need you to do is somehow reach out on my channel or even find me in the Mevo customer support group on Facebook and send me a message that has your email address so that I can then send you the email invite for the Sideline HD beta testing program. Congratulations to these winners. Hope you enjoy Hope you can provide some good feedback to the team at Sideline HD. And thank you, Sideline HD, for allowing me to have the joy of, of being a part of this. Uh, streaming youth sports and live events has been something that, that I have thoroughly enjoyed these past two or three years. And I appreciate you letting me uh, bring my channel into it. Um, as we showed some of the highlights from our, our most recent game, but I also appreciate you letting me be a part of your beta testing program as well. It's been a tremendous boon to what my parents get to enjoy, and they have had they they have raved. Uh, their feedback has been wonderful as we've made the transition from that Vimeo plan into Sideline HD for uh, for baseball. Now I do want to remind you that it not, it is not only baseball that Sideline HD covers because they take data from iScore, and iScore will will provide you a, a scoreboard. They'll provide you an overlay for baseball and softball and soccer and vol and uh, basketball. So there are several sports that uh, that, that iScore uh, produces an overlay for, and Sideline just puts them in uh, in the same way that they do for this baseball. So I just want to to thank the folks over at Sideline HD for the hard work they're putting in. They're rapidly getting more and more features included in their service, and we're looking forward to that being a, a fully fleshed out, a fully fledged operational service in the in the very near future. Thank you so much, uh, and trust that your streaming is going to be uh, that much better for those that have, have been awarded these allocations, and we look forward to seeing you guys on the sideline.